Hello everyone. I debated with myself a little bit if I should have or should have not have done this. But I think for more mistake there is some learning exercise. So in the end I decided to share this a little bit of a trivia, a little bit of behind the scenes of what happened in one of our uh, webinar of recent. We were effectively Zoom bomb. And despite the fact that we were super careful about what did we share, how did we share it, and how to admit, we fallen into the um, error, if you want, of frictionless, that is effectively to uh, include in the uh, event and in as many communication as possible the direct link. Of course, user find it very, very practical and useful because they just click on a link and join the Zoom call or join the meeting. But malicious actor, as we had during the call, also find it very, very useful because they can jump in with just one click. So what to do? We will like, we'll see in the video what happened, what doesn't happen, and the conclusion. And I hope it's funny to watch. It wasn't as funny to experience um, but I hope it's funny for a watch and I hope it's a learning exercise for everybody. I hope you enjoy it. This is Francesco Cipollone, your cloud security expert. Brad? Are we being Zoom bombed here? We have been Zoom bombed. Yeah, yeah. So at this point in time, I realized that something was wrong because new people <clears throat> were popping in um, in the in the meetings with weird names or with the same names of the um, audience. Yeah, we definitely are. So at this point in time, we were busy kicking people out, maintaining some level of normality, but the meeting got completely disrupted uh, for a few minutes. And thank God, uh, we had the waiting room available, so I kept on seeing people trying to come in uh, with different names, with different options, and they were just in the waiting list, but because we didn't know who was to be admitted and who wasn't, we couldn't admit more people in the meeting, and definitely the meeting was disrupted. We should have reached some like level of normality. All right, next time what we do, we share the password to join just on the... Yeah, yeah. You should be... You, you, should, you should be able to switch the meeting room back, the waiting room back on. No, no, the waiting room was on. Uh, I oh. didn't know who was actually going to be admitted. <laughs> because I didn't have the list. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. No. I I got suspicious when I saw someone log in with my name, um, but they were missing the A. <laughs> yeah, was, was, I, they, was they missing the A? Was they missing the A? So at this point, some people managed still to get in. Uh, were admitted with names of people that were in the invite list. Uh, on Eventbrite, uh, so they were just a couple of people and they were immediately detected and kicked out, but still the meeting was still a little bit different. This security... All right. Okay, let's crack on. <laughs> I'm not admitting any other. Record, edit, and send, eh? Okay. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll edit afterwards. So let's give us a quick second and then let's, re let's restart with the uh, um, Cloud Center of Excellence. And this was it. We managed to kick everybody out. To, uh, the room was effectively already closed, uh, but we didn't have the chance to admit anybody else in the meeting because effectively uh, we didn't trust anybody else to get in. And that's it, folks. So my suggestion 
on the back of these experiences, don't share the password, don't share the one click link or double check the names and ask people to come in and be admitted only if you know them specifically. Alternatively, the suggestion is just share the um, meeting ID and then share with specific individual just the password before the meeting, even though this adds frictionless versus usability. So find yourself a balance. Uh, either you can actively monitor the user coming in and out, but the meeting might be disrupted. The alternative option is if you run an event, just remit and just keep the people on the panel in the stream. This was your resident cybersecurity expert and Zoom bombs, <laughs> Francesco Cipollone. I hope this was informative, instructional, and I hope you had a laugh at it. In hindsight, we are laughing at it, but we're learning from the experience. So stay safe, stay Zoom safe and uh, listen to more of our uh, learning exercise and to the event.